Thank you so much for joining me. This is The Edge, and we are back in the forest. Okay, so last episode, bad news. Yep. I, oh, I jinxed us. I jinxed us. I said, oh, we didn't make it, boys. We got hit. We got hit back in a cave. So be it. But on our way back there, I forgot, you know, some new players of, uh, are watching this, and they, you know, they're new to the forest, and uh, you might not know where to get the flare gun, too. There's This is one area. You can pick it up right here. It's inside the cockpit. You can pick up some circuit boards. We're full on those. But here's a flare gun. Bam. So in case you need it, we actually got it. And then you got it five ammo with it. So it's really cool. These poor pilots. Well, actually, poor pilots. They're the ones that caused a freaking accident. Unless they were shot down for some reason. It's very possible. Now, this guy really, really got it big time. Yep, so this is pretty cool. It's actually another place you could actually build if you want to. Very hard to build because the trees are all the way up there. Uh, I, I've thought of it before, but I... Just damn, it's so sporadically far away, the trees. I don't know. A little tough. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to head back. Oh, hey, Mr. Tortoise. Tortoise, Tortoise, we have a shell already. We do. We don't need to kill you. Have a good day. Always making sure. Oh, look, there's some luggage here in the bottom. I, that's going to be impossible. You have to drag it out. You can actually push it all the way out if you want to. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to zoom right back to... I just wanted to show you that part really quick just in case you're new to the game. And again, we're going to head back to the base and start building. So uh, I'll see you guys there. All right, so we made it back. Uh, we're back at the base and uh, just checking a couple of things here, including uh, what we've done here. It's going to look freaking nice. God, it's perfect. Perfect. Plum. Plum, plum, plum. All right, we uh, actually, I was able to put one skid of logs here while we're waiting for the night to pass through. Uh, the log sled here is, has a couple of logs in it, which we're just going to throw on. And then the rest... We're going to be going across and finishing up what we can here. So if you missed last episode, you should probably go back and see what we've done. It's been pretty killer last two. I mean, we've had uh, quite a bit of company, including Virginia, Lacalman, and Armsy, and many mutants. And like I said, we got knocked down. Bad me. But hey, that's part of life. Ooh, I love this. I love the feeling of this right now. I like the way it falls straight down like this, flat. It gives that uh, that feeling perfect. I didn't want it to be too high up this one because I wanted the escape route. I didn't want it to take away from the building and build it across. And the reason why it's a little bit on an angle is because the door opens that way. So if you're asking why didn't I center that, it's because once the door opens, we have room to walk out onto. And that's going to be imperative for us to do. We have 14 logs we need to get out. It's not a big amount. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, the other thing we can do... I don't want to knock down trees here. Get that tree over there. I think I had one log left down here, but I don't, I don't know if it survived the night. Oh, it did. There was nothing that happened, thankfully. There was no uh, mutants or anything else, so they should all be uh, coming any moment now. Because usually that's exactly what happened. What the hell was that? Man, we were running out of trees. It's really becoming more and more difficult. To get. It's, it's just disappointing in some way. At least if they kind of, I mean, then again, it does not going to grow back overnight in the 90 days. These trees take years and years, so it makes no sense to grow back if we're doing a real survival kind of game. Could plant them for generations to come, maybe, but it ain't going to happen overnight, that's for sure. So yeah, we're going to try our best to get as much done as possible. What was that over there? Okay, it's just deer. Just some deer. We'll bring this over here. We'll try and get a couple more of these. Then we're going to go back inside too. I still have to put down some other kind of decorations and stuff that we need to get done. I also like to finish, uh, start doing a bone fence on top of the uh, on top of the wall. Just for a little more protection. So we've got a lot to do here. No time to rest. No time to rest. We must continue going. Again, guys, I know I say it's a lot, but it's just because I made it from bottom heart. Thank you so much for being here. You guys make this uh, so much fun. And all the likes you guys hit, you know, to help this channel grow in the community, I really appreciate it. I know it's, you don't have to, but it's, if you like the video, you know, if you hit it, it's just awesome. It makes this, uh, makes it a lot easier for us to be seen and, you know, grow further. So every time you're in a video, if it's not just mine or anybody else, anybody else's channel, don't forget to hit it. It really means a lot. It's a lot of work they put into their app videos, and I make sure I do it too every time I hit some, uh, some videos I like. And there's a lot of them out there. There's a lot of great YouTubers. A lot of them out there. Working their asses off. I mean, some guys are even putting out four videos a day. I mean, uh, that is my goal, that's for sure. 
but with a full-time job and hockey and everything else, it makes it really tough. I mean, there's some part of it I have to live, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? You have to have a life too. You have to get outside. But boy, I enjoy doing this. If I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't be making these videos. And it's just strange. After this much time, you think I would not be. I'd be a little more tired. I know some guys get drained very easily. It's a, it's a lot of work. The rendering and getting all the videos uh, edited and get it back out. It's its not easy. I'll be honest with you. It's not easy. But I kind of... I never have a problem. I don't bitch about it. I love it. And uh, yeah, that's it. So thank you. Thank you so much. All right, let's get back to the forest part of it. We are going to have to get just a couple more logs. We need five more logs. Let's fill up this tree anyways because we're going to need it. So let's hit down two more trees. Two or three more trees. We'll see how much we get out of them. We should we once we select the axe, it stays where we want to. That's one wish I have. Okay, we have some company over there, the big boys too. They're wa they're running on the outskirts. It's not bad. They might not be coming in here. It might have been hard for you guys to see it, but it's right over there. Still, let's just get them into the sled. get these babies out of here so as fast as possible I'm just I'm sorry if I'm quiet I'm listening for them I don't want to go back to the fucking caves <laughs> excuse the language just don't want to do it anymore one a season is more than enough and it's all my fault too that one damn it it's so pissed off I didn't look at my health now oh, he's hungry too okay good thing is we got a lot of supplies we got medication and stuff that we need that's really good, and we're gonna need water or something, so let's give ourselves a little more of that. Oh, we have to make sure to put this down, eh? Shit. All right, we got a lot to do. Got lots to do. All right, without a second log sled, I'll just be wasting, so let's bring this back up and let's get going. Let's start planning out our bone fence. We're gonna start cooking some cannibals, and it should be around a great time right now. This should be showing up very shortly to the actual base. Usually they'll be, uh, Running around, and we'll start putting up fires and start cooking them up. Hey, I was just talking about you guys. Can you guys hold on to like two minutes? I'm almost done. It's kind of like really important. I said two minutes. There, they got that point. Damn it. Oh, I just need one. Thank you. Yeah, they won't cross that for some reason. I don't know what it is. They're scared of it. Look at that. That looks beautiful. I like the feel of that. I wonder. I wonder. I wish we were doing really good. 93 days survive, man. That's We're doing awesome. We'll take them out. I know they're kind of annoying with it. Oh, but they really can't do anything to the rock wall. That guy can do something. Damn. Curious. Someone has asked me about that. I can't put it on here. We can do it here on the exit of it. We can do something like this to make it a little more nice. And keep the design in. That would probably work out pretty well. Let's just redo that properly so we don't interfere with the door though. That's the point behind this. There we go. No, that's too far out. I don't know if that's... It's just bloody hard to place. What the hell? I think it'd be easier at night to put down. Because I'm like, oh, what's, as you guys can see, it's bloody hard to put down. I can't see where the... I can see it, but I can't really see it. Where it ends here. I mean, guesstimating to see where that stops. And I don't think that's the right thing to do. I think that's a good nighttime project to do. Oh, oh. Well, that's going to be a nighttime project now. We're going to have to kill some of these guys, anyways, to start the bone fences, so. Uh, we can do. Just keep this. And start the bone fences on the other side here. 
So we can start doing it nicely and, and seeing how they look at on the front end where it's more stable. I'm liking this a lot. Hope you guys like this, man. This is this is looking pretty cool. Look at this shit. I don't know what I'm jammed on right now, but I'm jammed. I'm jammed, big time. I can't even friggin' move. There we go. Wow, that was kind of strange. Again, it's alpha. We have to be patient, guys. It's still an alpha. This game is far from over. Just because it's a little bit more sluggish of the shots. Too much chocolate bar, is that it? Missing your berries? Yeah, I'm, I'm running out of energy, that's what it is. Okay, let's take control of this. I shouldn't wait for them to come to us, we should be going to them. That's the best way, I always say that, best way. This is an army of them. Whoop, where is she? There he is. I, I say that over and over again, don't wait for them. Guys throwing out chocolate bars. Where the hell are you? Oh, there you are. Like this, this is a bad idea. Right there, that was a bad idea. Let's move that out. See, like they have control, better control on you when you, uh, when you don't charge them. When you go at them right away, they'll actually fall back or they'll they'll be stuck there. So that's the best way of doing it. Oh, that guy went running away, probably for some backup. There we go. I'll take that bar. Take her, drop her here. There we go. Okay, so what we're doing here, first we're going to get rid of this before we become infected. But next, and it's a difficult part, this is why I usually do most of it off camera, this kind of structural like thing, like a fence. Uh, for a, I do it at nighttime. And B is because I... But the amount of attacks that are going to occur, I can't see. We're going to have to do this at night. Yeah, there's no way of seeing that. Not with the snow. Not with the snow. So we'll go inside, we'll make some structures over there and uh, start building out the other structures on the back side. How about the back side here? Uh, the life of building. I love this thing. Damn. This wall is just so immense. Here's a nice little snack. Okay, so. Main goal. We don't have to build them all. We can actually start to structure them. We need those platforms. And this door opens up from that side. Okay, so it's going to be on this side. Let's rotate that. Make sure it's even with the wood. So we're going to do it this side this time. I see just a little more to the side. So the door opens up. I can see it from the lock. See lock on the top right? So the locks tell me where it's at. Just in case, because I've had people ask questions about that. How I was aiming it. There we go. And structurally, there we go. And that way, when we walk out, you have a, at least a nice space to walk out into. I want to be right on, but not right on. You know what I mean? There we go. This going be another 19 logs. Probably gonna need the same down here. Maybe we should bring it to the tree, this one. No. No tree in this one. Should be straight out across. Bam, bam. Right to that tree back down would be pretty cool, though. I don't know. I'll think about that. How about that? We got at least that platform up, but that's what we need. And what we can do is get this one on the ground here.
Let's rotate this baby. I got flush on the ground. Same angle as them, actually. Wait, I want to make the same angle of the wood. There we go. That's good. All right. The next one's probably going to be right in the middle over here. Right about here. About that height. It's actually a little bit less far than the other one, I think. But anyways, just to make sure. Won't hurt to have a second platform. It'll look nice, too, when we have the bone rails on them. Right, let's swim back to shore. Boom, boom. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Even Steven. Excellent. Excellent. All right, that's a lot of logging to do, but that's okay. 41 just for that side, plus the thing. So you're looking at about 60 plus logs. Pretty big. Pretty, pretty big. Anyways, don't have very bones left. Not many left. I wonder if we could sleep tonight. It would be kind of nice to get some sleep here. One second. We still have to build some more of those here and we also need to can we sleep we cannot sleep all right so we're gonna do here we're gonna build our shelving that we need we also need shelving on this side so we have a lot to build here just gotta get this all organized where's that shelf again click the place yeah i know There she is. Damn, medicine. Medicine and snack bar. Snack bars are already downstairs. We'll do some medicine. Medicine we could do it in inside. Actually, we'll do it on this side here. Reason for that is because I think this side over there is going to be all our armament. But then again, this is like our miniature room. And there we can put all our... The whole wall here could be full of... Oh, no, that wall looks beautiful there. Yeah, okay. Now I've got to put the the, uh, the armament and stuff there. All the uh, armament. My God, all the weapons and stuff on the wall. Like a trophy room. Right there. I don't like how it kind of wobbles itself. Right? It's just kind of... It's a lanky little... One there. It's the amount of wood this thing takes is freaking ridiculous. There we go. Two. Two of those there, which holds like eight of them, so it's nothing big. And here. On the wall, we're going to put up some of our armaments, man. Right here, wall rack. There we go. Weapons rack. Right here. I should have control on that one. Got to do quite a bit of them. Over here. Is that centered? Damn it. I lost the center of it. Damn it, damn it. Damn. Go back, go back. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, stop moving. Yeah, it's okay. The control thing didn't work. What the hell? Where's it just that I can't see it? Oh, yeah. I'll show you what we're doing here, just in case you guys are a little confused. This actually, you just very simply, you can pick up these things that you don't actually use. It's like this one here. I'll never use that, so. There's one. And it's just decoration. And we'll put up the second one over here. One second, one second, one second. There we go. 
So it was like your own weapons rack on his on his wall on the wall. Pretty cool. You can actually put up all across if you want to. You can have several of these uh, up and down, which is kind of nice. I kind of like the idea of having a whole bunch of them. With everything we've built, we can actually build more of these very easily. So crafted axe, pretty simple to build, and we can put out the stuff we want on a site. You can actually put your climbing axe and other things and go get more. So I have a secondary ones, kind of nice. I wish you could actually put up your snowshoes uh, on a wall too. That would be really, really, really cool. Because I mean, honestly, I never tried to put a, a bow though. I wonder if we can. Can we put a bow on a wall? Because maybe we can build that shit again. That's not a big deal. How about right here? Let's just start with the top part. Space them out a bit. Can we put a bow on this? Wow, that does not look nice at all. This is like, no, that doesn't even fit. I thought they put the other way around, but that's okay. How about the climbing axe? Oops. Okay, that's not the climbing axe. Let's try that one more time. We holding it? We are. Kind of just leaps on there. You see that? That needs to be fixed. If you're going to place it, you got to make sure it's nice. Uh, make sure all the weapons fit on there properly. Uh, upgrade spear. Wow, that takes up some serious space. And the weight differential, you got to fix that too. The weights on that side will just fall right off. Okay, so not, not perfect, but we can get more of these all the time. We beat the shit out of these guys. We'll grab more. We can build some of these too. So it's not a big deal. Really not a big deal. Let's put the last two up. Let's put the last one up here. So we have at least something even on the wall, and we can worry about the rest after. Come on. Here we go. Cool. All right. Open up. Thank you. I know everybody wants to build a wall planner, so I'm waiting for them to fix uh, what's going on right now. Right now we have to worry about a lot of things, but that's one of them that's going to be definitely what to work on. I guarantee you we will get it. We'll, we'll add those wall planners uh, very shortly. It just takes a shitload of sticks, man. This is not the best area for them. Yeah, we need to build that rabbit cage too. I'm going to do it on top deck. Well, here's more of our armament there eh, to protect us. What the hell? Am I stuck? Oh, with the spear, that's why. We can put our pets over here if we want to. Yeah, let's put our pet near the fireplace. That way he stays nice and toasty. Nice and toasty. Alright. So, rabbit cage. Man, the one that looks on the graphic looks so much nicer. Get some rope and all that, make it look really cool. Or we'll get some more. Okay, calm down there, John Wayne. Calm down. We'll do that. We'll get some sticks and get that. We're going to build a trap, too. It's time for us to get ourselves some rabbits. Definitely. There's so much. I have to do so much stuff before the end of this. How much left here? It's not all 19. It's just a couple more. There's, uh, I think, a couple of them that are just hidden far away. I don't actually know where the hell it went. I built something once before, and it's somewhere in the forest or somewhere underneath uh, the Fort Solitude, which we have to go back to very shortly. we got to finish up this one and then head out to Fort Solitude. There we go. So we got that done. Next step. Next step is to get a rabbit cage open. And there's enough rabbits in this area to definitely have no problems with that shit. I don't think I can't hear you. Freaking Superman. I, mean, I don't have any teeth. How many teeth do we have? I don't think I looked at it last time. 728 teeth. Damn. All right, let's build some rabbit traps. Not a rabbit to be seen right now. Oh, there's one over there. Okay, I saw his track. All right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, there's another one. Fuck, I just want a rabbit. We need a rabbit. 
I'm so desperate to get that damn thing. We've been promising it to you guys. And so much patience been for it. We have to actually wait and get this. Did I miss it? I was looking outside there for a second. I think I might have missed it. There you go. Animal trap. I saw one running past this tree here. Some everywhere here. Yeah, I'm looking at the amount of sticks for that one trap. It's freaking sick. Are you freaking kidding me? Fuck. Okay. Rabbit, go in a fucking trap. So we got one rabbit. Go that way. Go that way. Other way, moron. Oh, I need your club. Well, hopefully it won't be a raccoon and we're going to catch here. We should be able to catch at least one rabbit through this process. We just saw a whole bunch fly through here. Or fly through. Run through here. So hopefully we'll be able to catch them and get ourselves a rabbit very shortly. We should build another trap, but again, we're going to need a lot more sticks. Especially that there's one here near the tree all the time. I'm almost seeing that. Starting to think, should we just do it? Yeah, let's do it. Fuck, load of sticks. Fuck, load of sticks. Why can't we just grab them by the ears right there? Doesn't really, you know, not mean mean, but better than killing them to catch them. Wow, we used all our sticks. Wow, that was a lot of work. That's just a couple left. Where are they? Where are they? I just saw some sticks before. One. Are we going to have to go to a different biome to get sticks? Seriously? Hi. You remind me that girl was running after me last time. I don't want to take the risk. Just gonna get down to this biome just to get a friggin' stick. There we go. What a difference between the biomes, I think when it's dark like this? Without the snow? Holy crap. Unbelievable. All right, we can get that rabbit down. Seems so odd, isn't it? We're just doing this all for a fucking rabbit, but it is going to be cool to have, and hopefully he respawns back in every time we do it, or else we'll be trying to catch a new rabbit every time, but it's going to be pretty cool to have. Maybe we have them all for them. Who knows? I know some wanted to uh, name the rabbits, but uh, again, that's up to you guys. It's all good with me. Oh man, she looks beautiful. Oh, I love this place. So far, my favorite one. Four Solitude is really nice too, don't get me wrong. But uh, this one is just has, I don't know what. Look at that, wow. You're dying of thirst. Not anymore, got myself a cola. Tell me we caught one. Damn it. Nice. Run into that trap, you little shit. Yes, run that way. Run that way. Right into that freaking thing. Ah, oh, you stupid little freaking rat. The other one, there's two freaking traps. <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding me? Wow, I wish you just pick him up. Just go up on top and pick him up. 
They should give us that option to do it. Anyways, it's not going to be today, that's for sure. Unfortunately, we are running out of time. So I'm going to give one last shot, see if we can get this rabbit to the slowest rabbit ever. Man, that is one slow ass rabbit. Oh well. Okay, so we spent way too much time looking for the damn rabbit. I'll try and get some off video, and when we catch one, uh, we can actually start the video maybe with a brand new rabbit. Oh, caught something. What did we catch? Raccoon. What the fuck we do with that? He said it. Hmm. Well, they do work. Just have proof right now. They work pretty darn well. Hey, squirrel. What do you think? Pretty good? Pretty good. All right, guys. We're going to stop the episode here. When we do come back, we will uh, hopefully have a rabbit. But if not, we're going to have to start building up our base and finish up what we need to finish up here. There's a lot of work to be done. So thank you so much for joining me. This is the Edge for Game Edge. I'll catch you on the flip side.